Um, so we've got Jack Welshaw as well. But we're going to start with James Miller. This is an interesting one. Yesterday he came on for, uh, for Liverpool, played his 800th pro appearance. Ooh. That's un- Let me just say that again. 800th appearance as a professional. That's, I mean, that's... Ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yeah, but and by the way, he's still going strong. Especially the fittest, isn't he? Yeah. He could, he could play he, every game. Is he a legend, though? Is he a footballing legend? I think he's got to I be. I think he is. Now, he's won the Champions League. He's yeah. won the Premier League. He's a legend. Okay. Is it, listen, I, I think he's a very, very good player, right? But with, with James Miller, this is not an insult, but will you ever get a 10 out of 10 performance from James? Is he ever... And you could argue maybe that's not his job to be a match winner. Do you know what he is? He is the best at doing the fundamentals, the basics. Yeah. Running the Which tackling, is what you need. Running into places where, like, if I'm playing against midfield, he's, run, he's taking me places that I don't want to go. And he does that consistently. I mean, he's done it for 800 games and he, he, he's still going. It's unbelievable. He's what we call a great servant to any club he plays at, right? Yeah. He's, he's someone who will never, ever let you down. Like, regardless, before his ability, his quality on the ball, it's the work the work rate that comes. That's the mm. standard with him. But, but is, he, is he a legend because he's played so many games? Like Gareth Barry, right? I think he's a legend as well. Gareth Barry's a legend. Is, is he, Jack? He's, yeah, he's made more he Premier League, league. and he's won, won it. But does it. It, does that make him a legend because he's played so many times? Does is James Miller a legend because? No, I, I mean, wouldn't, say, be I wouldn't legend. say you're a legend because you've made so many appearances. Even if you're the most, oh, there is an argument for it because you keep getting picked. The manager keeps picking you, so right. you're doing something right. I think with with Milner as well, he's roll off the pitch mm-hmm. in the dressing room. Like I know um, Hendo's the captain, but I would say that he helps him a lot with that role. The, the stuff that was out on social media, the boring James Milner, probably doesn't help his cause, I would imagine. <laughs> but are there, are there... I mean, we, we all thought it was funny. I'm sure he sees the funny side of it. I'm sure he does. Um, are there people that are massive James Milner fans? And when I say that, what I mean is that he's their favourite player. There'll be, there'll be kids growing up that I want to be Jack Wilshere, I want to be Darren Bent. Lots saying I want to be Andy Goldstein when I'm older. But are there, <laughs> are there, are there football fans that have Milner on their back? Is he their favourite? Yeah, is he be. that kind of player? Be. There will be some, but... Oh, uh, you, you gave me that face that's that, like, I've already eaten, I don't want to eat anymore. Do you anymore. know what? I think, <laughs> certainly on, and this is, not, again, no disrespect to James Milner, quality. I think younger on, more when he was younger, when he was more running forward, scoring mm. goals, I remember he was going a few worldies for Villa, Manchester City, certainly Newcastle. Leeds. Leeds was a bit too young, but there was a period where he was more dynamic down forward, scoring more goals, assisting more. So I think then, a lot of kids would have been like, oh, that's who I want to be like. Now where he's obviously gotten older, he's, his role's a bit reversed, he's been asked to play like utility left back, right back, holding midfield. Maybe not as much, but listen, I still put him down mm. as one of the, the very best, by the okay, way. Okay, we'll be asking that question, 037172234. A quick word about Inter Milan against Liverpool. It was so obvious when I put on our group last night, I told you about Salah, he won't score five minutes later. Bang. What, what group? Are you not part of that oh, group? Um, oh, you don't want to see what goes on I say there. group, what I meant is... Yeah, yeah I meant group, yeah. You've got group chat. <laughs> We have group chat. Yeah, but you're not here every day of it. Do you want, do you want me to add you to no, it? No, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, you don't want to go in it, Jack? No. Do you don't want to go in our group? Why no. not? It's really good fun. No. Okay, well, stop moaning then. Um, what did you make of the performance last night? Of I'm going to sneeze. Like, I've got a sneeze coming. Yeah, go on. What did you make of it? Um, listen, they've got, they got the job done. I thought They were awful, weren't they? No, they weren't. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think they were awful. Awful? I don't think they were awful. They're two shots. I was listening to it. And, yeah, but target, Inter Milan haven't lost to an English team in years. Yeah. It's a tough place I to remember go. I mean, Mane should have scored the head up. He, he, 18, he, 18 years it is. I, yeah, yeah I don't think up. they were brilliant. In San Siro, yeah. But they they got the job done. Do you know who the last English team to win in the San Siro was? Probably Man United. United. No. Arsenal. Yes. Do you know what the score was? 5-2. No. Ooh. You're close, though. 5-1. Yes. Thierry Hattrick. Yeah. Yes. Lundberg got the other one. And I think Perez got the other one. Yeah, it was Perez, yeah. Well, you're not playing there? Injured. <laughs> Injured again. <laughs> <laughs> Why keep saying that? It's bang out of order, isn't it? Out of order, that, isn't it? Could be clubs listening to this. Yeah. CEOs. I should point out Jack was about 13 when that game was happening. What year was that? 2004. I was 12. Were you? Yeah. All right. I remember Thierry was but were you fit? that night. Were you a fit 12 year old? Oh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, I mean, listen, it's, um, it's, I mean, they're virtually through, right? Liverpool. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But as I said, the, the scoreline should have been more because Mane had the header early on, yeah. which would have settled the nerve down. They would have gone on to win. But I mean, at the minute, when I look at Liverpool's squad, certainly in attacking areas, the strength and depth they've got. Because I thought Diaz, he come on off. Wait, when he one. come on, he looks sharp. Look didn't sharp. They've yeah. got a few of them now. You think, oh, Jota, Firmino comes on, makes an impact. Salah, Mane, Harvey Elliott. That mm. was good to see him back starting. Yeah. Well. That was good. Yeah, I think that was good from from the manager, and it shows you how good he is and yeah. how. How much he rates him. It's the biggest game of the season. I know every game's big, but that is a massive game. Yeah. And we were talking yesterday on the show, me and Bentley, about Liverpool's high line. 
because some people question whether or not they've got defensive frailties at the back. We were saying they haven't. Whenever they're caught out, that player's offside. Dzeko mm. scored again. Oh, sorry, Dzeko scored last night and again. Offside. He was offside. Exactly. So they're obviously playing the highlight. Yeah, well, with, with the VAR, it's, You're fine it's with there, it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Like,